is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy Best say ever, cheers The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the after Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. So we're currently on the road and we are off to some lakes and they're in the Black Mountains, about an hour from us in Swansea. And there's a big one, which is a swimming lake and a small one, which is a drinking water lake. So we're gonna go for a dip in the correct lake and have a little explore around. I think it's about a half an hour hike to the lake. And I'm really, really excited. As you all know, we love our Adventure Mondays. Zach is behind the camera and yeah, we've got snacks and we are raring to go. So come with us and hope you all enjoy. Feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Tell me about it. That gravestone over there was from a 22 year old that got run over by his car. Oh wow, his car? Dave Davis says he's 22, was killed on, on this spot. 21st of May 1884. 1884, his horse bolted and he fell underneath the wheel of his car laden with Which was lime. laden with lime. Wow. <laughs> white car behind us <laughs> them a lovely couple and they just gave us ice creams they're driving back to Bournemouth and they didn't want them to melt so they were like guys have some ice cream so how nice is that we just pulled over and got an ice cream <laughs> that's incredible best day ever cheers having finished our unexpected ice cream we hit the road correction very narrow slightly bumpy a little wet Welsh road So we're now at our first location of the day and it is Linny Ye Van Fach. I'm probably saying that wrong, at least I'm trying. I'll put it on the screen so you know exactly where I'm talking about. But yeah, we are just, the car park is back there and we are heading this way. A guy said to us, are you walking to the top? And we said, mm, yeah. So now I think we're walking to the top, but I'll let you know whether we actually do because it looks massive. <laughs> and we are gonna find that bigger lake, or the smaller one, one of the two. And we're gonna have a little dip, which will be so nice when we get to the top. Come along, let's go for a hike. <laughs> So you have heard us talk a lot about different sized lakes and swimming and that was the initial plan. Well, until we reached said lake and read the signs saying danger and warning and loose machinery and water, etc, etc. All leading to us feeling like the swim could probably wait. Instead, we decided to extend the hike with the only direction being up. Now we go up. Once again, looks tiny. Not tiny. Don't wanna play games up with the moves. Don't wanna meditate, girl. We're just walking along the ridge now. It's got a bit windier, a little bit colder. And we just met a guy when we stopped who's out here hiking and he had a camera and we started talking to him. And it's such a small world. He also went to the same college. The woman who gave us the ice creams at the side of the road also went to. Like what? And it's not even a big place. It's a small place near where we live at home, which is about two or three hour drive in England from us. So yeah. Really, really weird, small world. Nice guy though. <laughs> we aimed for Piquus D, the second highest peak of the Carmarthen fans. It is chucking it down in the distance. So it's only a matter of time <laughs> before we get wet. But we're just gonna pace it along the ridge, then turn around and head back before we get soaked. <laughs> I wanna celebrate. And it's just started raining again, but feeling really proud. We did that. We went all the way up there to that little mound. Happy. 
so we have just got back to the car and as you can see we are soaked but it only started raining on the second half so it's all okay I'm gonna get in the car and have some lunch because we are so hungry very very soggy it's so steamy <laughs> Okay, you're still a little bit steamy, but we're working with it. Zach is currently cutting some spring onions <laughs> and cucumber. Because a great chopping board. Yeah, a little lid. And we're gonna have some wraps for lunch because we are really hungry. A little bit damp still, but we move. A few puddles and more winding Welsh roads later, we came across the glass flooded forest. Occasionally throughout our adventures, I just have no words as I feel there are certain beautiful moments that words can't even describe. And this moment in this beautiful expanse of tall pine trees and pink flowers was one of them. So we lifted the drone into the sky and gave my Subaru a bit of a run. took a little spontaneous detour to the Usk Reservoir which is just there but we didn't realize that because of all the construction work and everything we can't really stop and wander around so we're kind of heading back we're heading to our second place and yeah I guess that was the Usk Reservoir for anyone wondering. With the Usk Reservoir kind of checked off our list we went to the next stop Kerrig Dune Stone Circle. After both managing to get across a fast flowing river and a short walk up the hill, we reached the Bronze Age stones, small stones. I've never been to a small stone circle. Huh. It's so small. Look, tiny rocks. And with a waterfall in sight and desperately in need of a swim, we got changed and did just that. just stopped for fuel in a Tesco's petrol station and, and it, literally it's the coolest Tesco's I've ever been to. First of all, it's surrounded by mountains. I'm not gonna hold my camera up because everyone was leaving me, but it's surrounded by like hills. And the second thing is, you don't even have to walk in the shop. They've got like a little hatch in the front of the store. I'm gonna try and show you, but they might see me. And you just walk up there and you just pay outside. You don't even need a mask. I mean, isn't that just amazing? So I'm gonna subtly show you. What cool is that? You just pay just there. Cool? You're funny. So the time is currently 6.43 and we have come to the last place. We almost weren't going to because we were a little bit tired. But we thought, you know what, got a power on. Such a nice evening, so making the most of it. We've come to Kumklaidak. Well, there's an ancient stone pack horse bridge in a secret wooded valley. So yeah, it's very exciting. It's a little bit of a walk again. Hopefully it'll be worth it when we get there. So we have made it back to the car. The time is eight o'clock PM and we just did the two mile walk. Actually, we did more than that. We did two and a half miles because we walked a third of a mile upstream to get to the waterfall. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna head back. I'm gonna sign off now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If, you, if you're even thinking about going for a little adventure, do it. It's worth it, honestly, even if it's just five minutes up the road. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more like this in the future and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.